Hi, I'm Trisha Laughlin Bloom, and this is Norman Bloom Bit by Bit. Norman Bloom once said, art is all the 3,000 years that came before me. That's an interesting statement coming from an abstract artist. Bloom started his painting career in Paris, where he lived and worked from 1947 to 1956. He didn't just one day say, I'm going to paint abstractly. He started out painting scenes of Paris and the nearby countryside using a loose, sketchy approach, as in this watercolor from 1950 of Notre Dame. He was inspired by a long tradition of French landscape painters, but he was also a student of Asian landscape painting. Let's look at how these influences show up in our exhibition, Norman Bloom Metamorphosis. On the left is Bleeding Rain from 1956, and on the right is Stained Glass Landscape from 1957. A large abstract oil on canvas, Bleeding Rain doesn't tell us up front it's a landscape, but we know Bloom was going into the countryside around Paris to paint from nature, following the example of Claude Monet and other Impressionists. With that in mind, the blues and greens along the bottom start to look like a horizon line where the earth meets the sky. With stained glass landscape, Bloom left behind all references to the natural world. Using circular brushstrokes and translucent layers of paint, he pays homage to the glowing colors of stained glass, while also with the title prompting us to think about the light and feel of a natural landscape. Notice he's used three pieces of paper to make a horizontal surface, a landscape orientation. In a similar way, Untitled 1975 flows horizontally across four panels. It's also abstract, full of curving and rolling forms. And nothing specifically says landscape here either, except for the really long panoramic format that makes you look from left to right to take it all in. Knowing about Bloom's interest in Asian painting, take a look at this 18th century Japanese screen painting from the museum's collection. It's also a very abstract landscape and it crosses over six panels. That's it for now. Stay well and see you next time.